OK, let's take a look at some more absolute value inequalities. I think these things are actually worth uh, a couple extra practice problems just to get you sort of in the swing of things. Um, this one is going to look a little different. Absolute value 5y plus 2. And then you subtract off 4, and that has to be less than 10. So that's the question. And now the issue is, how do you deal with that? Well, the first thing that I do is just get the absolute value by itself. Okay, it's like we, like we see often a lot as a theme. Let's get the thing that we're sort of concerned about, or that's sort of a unit, by itself. So I'm going to bring this 4 over and make it, therefore, 14. And I have absolute value 5y plus 2 would be less than 14. OK, and then I think to myself now, OK, what does it mean for an absolute value to be less than something? It means that it's going to be small in size. So if it's going to be small, that means I'm thinking like this. I'm just going to draw a little sketch of what I'm thinking. It means it's going to be sort of within 14 or minus 14. So if I put in 14, this is not drawn to scale at all, then I know that I'm living somewhere in here. See, just by thinking like this, it helps me set up the right inequality. Because I realize, oh, OK, therefore, I'm going to want this thing to be uh, bigger than minus 14, but also less than 14. So this little picture actually helps a lot, because it allows me to immediately say that is the exact same thing as minus 14 less than 5y plus 2 less than 14. You see, this is my thinking always. I, I think about what it means for an absolute value to be small, or if the question was absolute value big, what that means. I sketch a little teeny picture to help me, and then I set it up. And now I've got to solve this inequality. What do I do? Well, I'm going to subtract 2 everywhere. If I subtract 2 from here, I have minus 16. Same inequality. 5y, if I subtract 2 from here, that's gone. Same inequality. If I subtract 2 from here, I have 12. Now I divide everything through by 5. No need to flip all those inequality signs because 5 is positive. And when I do that, I see that I have minus 16 over 5 is less than y, which in turn is less than 12 over 5. And that's the answer. What does that mean? It means that any single y that's bigger than minus 16 over 5, yet at the same time less than 12 over 5, any such y will satisfy this original inequality. And any y outside of that little teeny region, any, side out, any y outside of that, I know will not satisfy this. So in fact, this is the solution to this absolute value inequality. OK, how about one more? In fact, this one, I'll give you a shot at this one. You know, these things are, are, take a little bit of time. But practicing them, I think, is really a worthwhile thing. So let me really encourage you to try to think about this, see if you can solve this one, and I'll be back, and we'll see if I can solve it. OK, give it a shot.